Hello, and welcome to the Building Microservices with Clojure, a practical introduction to tooling development and deployment. In this opening clip, I'm going to give a brief tour of what this course is about, the rationale, and the pieces we'll use so you can see if it fits your needs. In slide speak, it looks sort of like this. A general overview and background of what we're doing here, and a rationale, why I think it's useful to do it this way. A very broad view of what's in it, including the specific players that we'll be using. Now the first couple of clips will be a little bit of slide wear, but the main portions are show and tell, where I'll do direct edits to code and interacting with the system. So let me describe what led me here first. Some number of years ago, I saw Rich Hickey in a YouTube clip talking about this language called Clojure. I'm a fan of Lisp and functional programming. So when Rich said he managed to implement an efficient functional dialect of Lisp that runs on the JVM and interrupts trivially with Java, it caught my attention. Listening to him further convinced me that he knows enough about the JVM and functional programming paradigm to pull off what most people thought was impossible, which is to create a performant, accessible, functional programming language. Now the JVM aspect is important because here's a programming paradigm, functional, that actually has a chance to tame the complexity we've been building the last 20 years, and which has a shot at not being treated as some academic backwater language that doesn't get taken seriously, and thus never adopted in serious programming environments. So like most people charmed by Clojure, I downloaded it, ran a few operations in the REPL, marveled at how natural it is to do something like applying a function to a collection of things, and thought, okay, I'm ready to build something I can use at work. And then this happened. I ran into a brick wall, a series of them, in fact. I think many people ran into the same wall, and it is pretty discouraging. And thanks to exposure to Node.js, Ruby on Rails, Django, etc., my expectation was that I should be able to download a framework, start with a template, and start being productive immediately. But I found that getting started in the closure world was considerably more challenging than expected. So my goal in this series is to get you over that initial first bump and equip you with an environment and skills so you can do some basic things with closure that you can extend for doing more real work. You don't need full mastery of the language in order to be productive. The better you are at Clojure, the better off you'll be, and I recommend doing some language-specific study in parallel with the segments presented here. So the wall still needs to be scaled, but at least you've got some ways to get over it. And as the title says, we'll focus on HTTP-based microservices. This notion of a microservice is really just a medium to help describe the first things you can and should learn about using Clojure, and along the way, you'll see that the platform I outline isn't just a Hello World toy. Clojure's language features and the framework we'll be using will combine to create a structure you can use to build major league applications. Now the things we'll be looking at, sort of in broad strokes, from the code level, use Clojure as our basis language, and on top of that we'll use Pedestal, which is a framework useful for implementing HTTP-based services. For tooling, we'll have an editor, we'll talk more about it later. We'll use Database as a service, as hosted by Compose.io and MongoDB. And for hosting, I'll show how you can use a service like Heroku to host one of these services that we'll create. So over the course of this series, I'll work through an exercise of creating a small HTTP service using Clojure and Pedestal. And the approach I'm going to present will deliver value right away, and even better, the framework and the pattern works the same even after you add more enterpriziness to it. And overall, I'm not going to go into detail about Clojure the language, or even too much about Pedestal as the framework, but I'm going to focus primarily on how you can sew together a small number of things and get work done. Plus, I contend that this result will hold up as you continue to build out your services. These days, we're not being asked to build larger, more monolithic programs. Instead, the ask is tending towards smaller, focused, loosely coupled services. And as such systems proliferate, we'll do ourselves a big favor by implementing these services in a way that they can be managed. This series will get you started with a simple recipe so you can see for yourself if the approach is a fit for the problems that you need to solve. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on Learn More. Don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials, and be sure to like us on Facebook.